Hello everybody, my name is Wachara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. The end of last episode, I released Industry 8 Colonies, which um, sold 274,000 copies in its first week, which is absolutely insane. Um, to put that into perspective, this uh, first-person shooter, which to be fair, is exclusive strictly to my consoles, but it sold 293,000 in 31 weeks. That sold almost as much in a single week. That is absolutely insane. So right now, research team, not researching anything. There's nothing to research. So let's throw them back in training. Primary development team is also training right now. We're gonna leave them there for a bit. We're gonna use our secondary development team to get some more games out. Sound team, graphics team, they're all just kind of chilling right now. Um, marketing, let's do some special marketing. Can any of these games use a demo? Arc Survival Devolved could go for a demo. So let's put that out. Uh, my third development team, which is mostly for making engines and whatnot. I was thinking, I was just looking at this before I started recording, just kind of looking at what's popular. So right now we're making a building game, right? Because it's not saturated at all, 80% popularity. I'm thinking platformer though. I haven't made a platformer in a long time. I have a fairly valuable platformer IP, right? I think, don't I? Um, Dragon Rider? I guess it's not that popular. Yeah, I mean, two stars is decent. I mean, it's not five stars like Candy Crash or Industry or three and a half, like Matera Hockey or the Derby. Oh my God, I haven't made the Derby game. Last game was released 224 weeks ago. Maybe I should do another derby as well. Um, so, Dragon Rider, building game. Derby, well, how popular is racing games right now? Racing is not popular, somewhat saturated. All right, well, maybe we'll do a racing game. But for now, let's, um, last episode I updated the building engine, so it's ready to go. This platform engine, jump engine, hasn't been updated since tech level, uh, tech level two. So it is extremely out of date. So let's make sure all the best tech level three is in here as well, in case anybody's looking to make a tech level three game. All right, so everybody's ready to go. Our console development team is just kind of sitting around twiddling their thumbs. Do we not have cleaning robots down here? Yeah, we got two. What are they doing? They're slacking. They are slacking. All right, so building game. We're gonna do fresh IP here. Um, we'll set it for size A for now, but likely it's going to end up double A. The game. Now, we did cities last time, right? Because we kind of came to the conclusion that a, a building game likely meant like a city building game, right? So we'll go cities and civilizations. They're right next to each other here. We'll call this Civ City. I think is a pretty good name for a building game, right? And build engine, Macintosh, PC, chair box. What's out there for tech level four? Segi Uranus is up to 38.6 million, or we could just go with 40O has 19 million. Uh, let's, let's actually get the, let's get the Uranus here. Use that. All right, so yeah, we're getting better at this tech level four um, engine stuff, like 30, our sound and our AI will be maxed out after this game, which will be good. All right, so some of these stay where they're, stay right there. But let's look, um, oh God, I forget, what was the name of my city builder? <laughs> Donra, building cities. 30, 20, 20, 30. Okay. That's easy. Boom. And let's look at the letters from this. Where are you at, cities? All right. Um, too much for core. So more casual, better level design, better mission design. Too violent, too easy. Too violent, too easy. Better level design, better mission design. So then we'll move those down. Sure. Works for me. Turn on everything that applies, which is only 25 of 30. So let's, um, 
let's leave this as a size A game. And look, that might hurt how good it is. It might hurt review scores. It might hurt sales. But I think that I'm willing to risk it. Let's get this game out there. Oh, I was going to say, did I freeze? <laughs> Modern controller sport. Okay. So, needs to be marketed because this is a fresh IP, which I haven't done a fresh IP in quite some time. High quality sounds. Let's go. Quality graphics. Improve gameplay. And cannot forget the mocap studio. Because I did the last episode. So we're going to do automated game design a few times, and then we'll do programming automated a few times. Right, we'll just kind of go down the list. Kind of, not to, not to the point that they're maxed by any stretch, but We'd like to at least get them in a, in, in a decent spot. All right, so we'll do TV three times. That'll get us to 100 hype. Nothing to research. Okay, and Industry 8 Colonies. I'm just going to call it Industry. I'm not going to say Industry 8 Colonies every single time. That's just too much. Um, it's selling 200,000 every week, which is absolutely insane. Um, so, and I mean, Ark Survival Devolved, selling 70,000, 30,000 here. Even Warfield is doing okay. Candy Crash is still selling 100k. My consoles are selling, they're both selling 69. Nice, thousand. Okay, things are uh, going pretty well. Actually, you know what? The platformer game, I'm gonna make that a Lucera Box exclusive. Just for fun, I think. All right, so they are done with the engine, so let's them to do this all right so how is this how many times that's the thing about this auto i have no idea how many times they've actually gone through it right so we'll let this one finish and then we'll uh we'll switch it to the programming still nothing to research there the rival engine was licensed made me cool 2.2 million i will take it yeah, the console sales kind of jumped up because the summer slump ended. All right, we got research. We got handset support. Let's immediately do that. We want to stay on top of the research, right? Because sometimes it'll come in bunches and you'll you'll fall behind, right? Um, so this room here, what do we got? We need game design. But we also need programmers. We got a lot of programmers. Wait, we have a game tester in here? Why do we have a game tester? <laughs> in our development room. You're supposed to be in there, I'm pretty sure. So let's see what's out there for game developers. Uh, efficient, but no. So you learn fast. So let's see if we can hire, not marketing campaign. <laughs> Play search, game designer, specialist. At this point, we just want specialists, I think. Let's see if we can get that one. All right, so cancel this task. Start training course, programming. Start automation. I just want to take a look at everybody's game design. So we got some few people at 90, 60, 50, 30. Got some people way down in the 20s. Yeah, so probably maybe could have done that a couple more times, <laughs> I guess. This is a weird balance. Generally, you want this. Like, I like to have more game designers, but then you want roughly equal of these other things in your main design room, which we don't have, but I mean, it's fine. All right, so how's this game coming? All right, well, there's a high level game designer for over here. Um, Yeah, let's do an update for. Oh, we didn't even do an update for Industry 8 yet. That's me being asleep at the wheel, kind of. Whoops. And another over there. Um, all right, no more research to do. Let's get them in training. All right, so they're polishing. They're polishing. They're on the last thing. They're bug fixing, which, and then it'll immediately start polishing. So when the when this bunch is done, um, they're unlucky though, so I'm gonna pass. So when this bunch is done, the game will be ready, essentially. All right, so that's good for that. 
I just wanted to fill that room a little bit. Um, so let's do re-release for the press and then we will overhype it. All right, that worked. Crazy Games Tycoon 4 off the market. Made me a cool $80 million. 3.3 um, .3 million in sales. That is, I believe, at the moment, the second highest selling game of all time. Oh, not by reviews. Oh, wrong thing. All time charts. There we go. Yes, it is. But Industry 8, it's it'll it'll <laughs> it's gonna overtake it very soon. Candy Crash 7, oh man, it's gonna be over 9 million here very, very soon. All right. This is what I was talking about with research coming in bunches. So we got um looks like a like a main ship and um um memory. Main processor and memory, yes, main memory. So let's get those done. So those are still tech level four, um, which is relevant because if the screen for a level four handheld ever decides to come out, which it will eventually, um, we'll be ready to make a, make a console, right? So there's still only tech level three screen, but so this is our second tech level four processor second tech level four main memory i think we already have yeah we already have the graphics chip we already have the sound chip we already have the internal external memory and i think there's only one data carrier so in theory the screen should be coming soon because everything else will be done once we finish this research that we're doing right now right all right so this game is ready let's continue development let's get these bugs out create overhype A little polishing. Okay, overhype worked. What are we looking at? Still 70 to 90. I would really like that to be 80 to 100. But at the same time, I can't afford to just wait forever. Okay, so they think the next trend is going to be role-playing games in 25 weeks. So maybe I should have a role-playing game somewhat ready to go. Um... Candy Crash 7, yeah, let's do one more update for that. This will probably be the last free update for that. We should probably do a paid add-on for it. In in theory. It'd be good. Alright, so I think this game is ready. I think we can put it out now. Still 70 to 90, but that's okay. It'll be close to 90. If this is less than 85, I'll be flabbergasted. My ghast will be flabbered. Yee, only 87. That's, <laughs> that is lower than I expected. But, I mean, that's fine. Oh, oh wow. Warfield won best graphics and best sound. Well, we swept the awards. It, not surprisingly whatsoever. Um, But I'm surprised Warfield won awards. I'm surprised it's not selling better. Based off that information, right? Now it is an exclusive, but it's exclusive for more than one of my consoles, right? All right, so yeah, let's let them train a little while longer. You can do a game report. And let's, um, yeah, let's do a sequel Dragon Rider. We haven't done one in a long time. Dragon Rider 3. Came out in 1989, six years ago. Whoops, sleep at the wheel there. This is gonna wanna be double A, possibly even triple A, right? Just because platformer, I know a lot of things apply. We're gonna go exclusive though. We're gonna go exclusive for the Luchera box, which means sales are probably gonna be bad, but I wanna, I wanna try it. All right, so everything looks Locked in there, except for that. Okay, these need to change, though, because now we have the mocap studio, right? We don't need to have that um, pushed way up. Dragon Rider 3, this is the one we're looking for, right? Yes. 25 is across the board. Perfect. We can do that. <laughs> that we can do. All right, we want to cut five features think I'd rather cut five features. The only reason I'm, I don't want to make this a triple A game is because, it, I mean, that, that makes it ex really expensive to make, 
right? It's only going for the Luchera box, right? Actually, you know what we can do instead? Okay, so let's go AAA, but we're going to go manufacture exclusive, include the micro, include the wonder player, and then we'll do tech level three stuff. So it's only tech level three, but it's my first AAA game. I'm kind of thinking those two things might kind of cancel each other out somewhat and make for a good game. And hopefully, because it's for three consoles instead of one, and like the micro in particular has 20 million users compared to only um, almost nine for the Lucera box, right? I'm hoping that it kind of... I mean, I'm sitting here like, oh, I hope I don't lose money on this game. I mean, I have $2.4 billion in the bank. Doesn't really matter <laughs> if this loses money, right? As long as, but I mean, the thing is, even if the game itself isn't profitable, the, the consoles it moves will probably make it profitable anyway, if that makes sense. All right, so let's um let them... Train one more time in programming. And then we'll switch it to uh, graphics and then to sound. All right, Civ City did not live up to the hype. We lost 2,000 fans. I mean, I have 2 million, over 2 million fans, so that's not the end of the world. I mean, every time this spills, we get 2,000 more fans. Speaking of which, that room could go for a couple extra people. Now, there might be some on the market, though. Do, do, do marketing and support. And I don't know about anybody else, but it drives me nuts that it's called marketing and support here, but it's called office worker here. Same thing with tech. It's technician here. It's hardware and engineering here. I just wish it was the same in both places. Right? I don't think that's too much to ask. Maybe it is. I don't know. All right, Dragon Rider 4. During a spontaneous brainstorming session with your staff, some good ideas for your new game were born. The developers immediately got to work and implemented some of these ideas. 111 extra gameplay points. I will take it. All right, so research team is done on that console stuff. We're just waiting for that screen to come available, right? And then we're going to jump right in and uh, make that. So we were talking about potentially doing an RPG next or racing. So let's update the racing engine first. No, not that. There we go. We will include the tech level three stuff. Because, I mean, we're, we're making a tech level three game right now. At some point, you know, this may be our last tech level three game, but I want to include the tech level three stuff in the engine just in case. All right, so we got new research, uh, AI, tech level. But no, I was going to say, I thought that might have been tech level five, but it's not. All right, so let's immediately get that done. We're not finding any office workers. <laughs> All right, so they're done with the programming. So start training graphics. All right, there's a office worker for us. So yeah, let's just look at, am I in this room? <laughs> um, no, I'm not. What room am I? Oh, there I am. Went right by myself. So yeah, so this is what you want. You want, I want these graphics and sound bars to be full as well. Ideally, you want everybody in this room like that. That's why you want all-arounders, because a non-all-arounder, their max, instead of 60, it's either 50 or 40. Um, I think that's 50. So yeah, you get 10 more. I mean, it only comes into play late game, which technically we're not even late game yet. It's 1996, but we've had late game levels of cash on hand for quite some time now um oh yeah <laughs> the second i move my research team back new research comes up as of course it did 3d graphics folks that's that's going to be exciting all right so that racing engine is good let's do let's do an update for sip city even though it's it's disappointing Oh, you know what's really disappointing? Oh my god, how long has it been out? <laughs> so who was screaming at their screen for the last five minutes? Unfortunately, I couldn't hear you. 
It's been out for nine weeks. <laughs> I haven't made a single one. There's 691,000 orders. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so those are going to sell. <laughs> so in theory, that should lose its fans. It's probably not actually going to lose its fans, but it probably should have. All right, so now that we're caught up, let's just do our normal 2,000 or 200,000, 15,000, 6,000 automatic production. Okay. But I mean, the game's already profitable, so I guess I'm happy with that overall. You know what? I'm just going to leave the research team there because I know there's one something coming. All right, so let's do another update for industry. Where are you at? Because, yeah, it's it's already, and we'll pass on this person, it's already the second best-selling game of all time. And it's going to make a run. It's going to make a run at Candy Crash 7. Speaking of taking a run, Candy Crash 7 has taken a run at 10 million copies sold. This will be, I believe, my first platinum record. There's a platinum or diamond? Platinum's five, right? Yeah. I mean, it's 10. Yeah, so we're looking like we might see a diamond record soon. All right, so Dragon Rider is pretty much done. Um, they're polishing, they're polishing. They'll be polishing in a sec. So let's... um. Get some special marketing going here for it. Pre-release for the press. Continue development, 80 to 100. That's what we want to see. Legendary sound artist. Fortunately, we don't... Oh, there. Wait, no. Uh, we don't really have any room in our sound room, though. <laughs> so we will put them with our main development team. Um, and then let's overhype the crap out of this. So I have a feeling this is going to be a 95% plus review score. Although, the tech level 3, it's interesting, right? Is the tech level 3 thing going to hurt the review? I'm legitimately curious if it's going to hurt. Oh, I did not mean to pick that up. I was just trying to close the window. That's all. Where was it? Right there? Yes. Oh, and hey, I'll have to remember to actually make some <laughs> copies of Dragon Rider 4. Whenever it's done. All right. Are we considering it done? Right now. New platform. All right. I'm going to move them out. They call it, The game called my bluff. This Sib City sales look funny because that's all the back orders from me being an idiot and forgetting to make some. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Candy Crash 7. It's going to be close. Sales have fallen off hard. It's been on the market for 80 weeks. It's going to be close whether or not it actually uh, actually hits that $10 million. Uh, But industry, if Candy Crash doesn't, I'm pretty sure industry is going to. Like, just look at it. All right, and you know what? We could do another arc update, Civ City. Quest for the Booty, Warfield have only had one. Yeah, they're on their last legs. Let's do another Civ City update. Wait, did I update... Did I update the RPG engine yet? I don't know what's going to. I feel like I did that somewhat recently. We got new stuff though, right? Yeah, I guess it's just the new stuff. I don't know that. That's not new. But All right. How long do I want to polish this for? And no, more. no longer. Let's get it out. Self-distribution. Remember, you, got, you actually have to distribute distribute it when you when you check that loot all right so 96 percent review and that's with tech level three so tech level three doesn't really hurt review scores in theory but maybe it does like maybe this would have been a 99 if i did tech level four but who knows all right make some games <laughs> there we go i remembered now it's an exclusive so it's probably not going to sell the best. But that's okay. Game report for it. And automation on graphics will switch them over to sound. But in the meantime, racing game. 
do we think the next one is going to be RPG? We think that doesn't mean they're going to be right. It's an 80% chance that they're right. Right? <laughs> so let's, yeah, you know what? It's not super popular, but I don't care. The Derby is coming. The Derby, do, do, do. Five, six, six. This, I assume, will be at least a double A game, if not triple A. Um, thinking we'll go multi platform for this one. Get the, all these users that the Mac and PC have, right? And the Uranus and the Lucera box. What else is out there for tech level four? Nothing popular. Ooh, Core Engine's got a lot of users. Commander game system, that's only tech level two. Core Engine's tech level three. Yeah, we're not going to do those. We'll just do this. Okay. I mean, technically, two of these were just up to updated. But you know what? We're not going to make that. Change the plans. Plans change, folks. Day one patch. They'll do a day one patch while this engine is being worked on. Um, any consoles? The micro or in particular the micro or the box? Yeah, let's get the box back up to 100 hype. All right. While they, while they work on this engine. What do we got here? Graphic design. I know this is not really a room for graphic designers, but hey, they help out with updates, right? With the free add-ons, free updates, whatever you want to call them. Meanwhile, let's see if we can keep these folks busy with a little mission work. Not really. <laughs> mission work only goes so far when you got this many people in a room. Three commissions there. All right, so they're done. They're not, though. And now they are. So we're going to do Quest for the Booty 1 billion. Or. Yeah. So is that our only RPG? Like, is every RPG we made been Quest for the Booty? Like, we've never done a fantasy RPG, have we? We did, well, we did the Dragon and the Orc way back in 1978. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go with Quest for the Booty 7. Double A at least, possibly triple A. And you know what? It's time. Exclusive. Not with the racing engine. RPG engine. Boom, looking good. New anti-cheat. Renewvu anti-cheat. Yes, please. Everything looks good here. I believe this should be 40, 30, 15, 15. Turn on everything that applies. Looks like this is going to be a AAA game. A AAA game for just my system? Sure. Is this going to make money? $13 million to make this game. And that's before advertising it's before all the other rooms right so let me know in the comments will that game sell enough like ignoring let's ignore that the amount of consoles it sells right with the consoles it's going to be fine but without factoring in console sales will quest for the booty was it seven will quest for the booty seven be profitable I'm legitimately curious what people think. Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Because I just realized it's been 29 minutes. So this video is over. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, consider supporting me on Patreon. Shout out to my patrons. Couldn't do it without you. Links in the description down below to that. Also a link to my Discord. Occasionally we play multiplayer. Mad Games Tycoon 2 if that interests you. Join my Discord. Most importantly... Be good to each other. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.